Hello, my noble band of outlaws. All of Samurai coming at you live with a video. Well, this is the unsharpened cutting video for the Guama. Now, two reasons I'm making this at night. One, I'm impatient and don't want to wait to cut with this thing anymore. And two, well, it's really just the first one. I'm going to attempt to use saber grip for most of this as to avoid the uncomfortable digging into my hand sensation. So three, two, one. That worked a lot better than I thought it would be. Victory! The edge is what I would define as kind of a rough edge. I think it's around a 220... 250 edge so with that in mind it's very toothy and likes to dig in a bit of a harder bottle I'm gonna try hammer grip this time Ooh, oh that's uncomfortable that was uncomfortable as hell this damn knob is in my way Try handshake saber grip. It works. This is so far the best grip for this. Got the other cutting stand was there. Not to worry, I didn't hit the stand hard enough to hurt myself, but I did hit it hard enough to have a ooh, that smarts kind of moment. Of course, it's chopping ability. Well, it did, as we can see here, slice a little bit into the bottle. Not much, but it did. And that's empty. Now we'll test its thrusting ability. And this is usually when I do some sort of fancy thrust. But, we're just going to test how its push thrust works. And it works very nice. I felt very little resistance. This is a very good thruster. And 
And that's why I'm wearing the leather hat tonight. In case shit like that happened. I feel as if this, if the edge was sharper than it is, it would have sliced through that Coke bottle, but... Mm, this damn knob just... Ugh, hurts your hand when you're using this thing. A little bit of water all over me. But that is a very nice thrusting tip. I'm definitely going to have to cut this part off. As much as I really don't want to, to avoid ruining the nice woodwork that's on the grip. I have no other alternative. I cannot use this thing comfortably with this nub here. So, I don't know how well you can tell. But right here on my hand has been rubbed red by this back nub here. So that's going to have to go. So until next time, my noble band of outlaws, outlaw samurai tells all y'all, be crazy rednecks, be safe, use your weapons. I'm out, peace. And the only grip position I can take with this not digging into the back of my hand is like this, but if I extend my wrist out normally, it puts the blade out of alignment with the slash. So, there you go.